everyone, welcome back to Lesson 2. Today, we're using the turtle module to draw cool shapes and change how our text looks with different fonts. And it's super fun and easy. So let's get coding. Alright, first, let's wake up the turtle and give it a name. So we're going to do import. We're waking it up. Let's do import and then turtle to import it. And next, we're going to do after that. Oh, also, if you haven't already made a, a file, do that so you can always, like, delete anything. So, like, for example, if you're in the IDL shell, you cannot delete stuff once you already did it. So, you can't do, let's, you can't even delete anything. So, just like what I did. So, it's always important to, also, like, it's also important to, like, let's say you have your beautiful work that you did. Spent many hours. Let's say you're making a game with Python or something. And you want to save it, go back to it, and do stuff. Well, doing files the right place to do it. Because that's where you can do everything and save it and go back to it. Where if you're in the IDL show, you can't. So that's just a quick re uh, reminder. All right. And then you also save it where you're, you're going you're gonna to find it. All right. So let's get back to it. So we're going to do T equals turtle and then dot uppercase turtle. Okay. Now... We weren't doing this in the beginning, so what does T mean? T, well, what does it stand for? Like, what is the T for? And it's just a name we're giving our turtle. So we can name it anything, like Leo, Billy, Bob, anything. Uh, anything you want, but I'm just calling mine T to keep it short and simple. So now anytime, like we say, turtle dot forward, we're just going to use T. Instead of writing everything out and then doing dot forward. It's not going to be like that anymore. It's going to be T dot forward. So it saves a lot of time, you know, and it's quick. So we're basically, so anytime you write anything, it's just going to be super quick. And it's a lot more easier. You don't have to sit there and just do like, all right, so now we're going to do turtle. Now left. Now we're going to do turtle. Again, it's just T left. Well, not just T left. T dot left. T right. And it's like, it's quick. So you can name it anything. So it's like. All right, we're going to do lowercase. All right, so next we're going to do a, another one. We're going to do the next step, which let's make our turtle right. So let's make our turtle say something cool. We're going to use the right uh, thing. Where this is a newer thing that we can, like, write our stuff with. We're going to use dot right, which is writing out uh, our, it's basically writing out anything, like text, stuff like that. And you can also, I'm going to show you how you can change it uh, with, you know, like, how you know how it says plain? Maybe you want something in a different font or something. So we can get into that and change it too. But first, let's just stick to this. And or next, we're going to do, or let's stick to what we're doing right now. All right, pen up. Here we go. T dot pen up. And we're going to do T dot, you see how easy it is? It's just T, it's not writing a whole name of the thing, which is turtle, just doing T dot, and then it's just basically T, so cool. All right, so we're gonna do T dot, go to negative 100, and then 100, all right, perfect. All righty, okay, uh, next we're gonna do, let's see, yeah, we're gonna write it, on T, all right, and then we're gonna do, what should we write? Turtle, we'll do tur turtle power. Uh, is that two spaces or one? Oh, that was one. Turtle power, exclamation mark, let's go. All right, wait, I didn't space it out. That's what I did. Now we spaced it out. Okay. Oops, I didn't, I closed it. All right, so we did that. Little comma there, stuff like that. And now we're going to do, we're going to do, like I was saying before, about the whole changing the font. And stuff like that. I was just thinking about which, which, how should we make it? We'll do freestyle. Why not? It's kind of cool like that. Actually, instead of turtle power, yeah, yeah, we'll keep turtle power. And then we're gonna do freestyle, freestyle. Actually, no, it's style. Oh, hold on. Oops, did I spell it wrong again? There we go. We're gonna do freestyle, and then we're gonna do script. All right. Is that spelled right? T. -T. Yeah, that's spelled right. Okay, so I wasn't sure. I wanted everything to be perfect. I don't want any, like, errors or anything. All right. All right, comma. And we're going to do 50. Can we? Yeah, 50. And then another one. And then 
of a say normal. It's a lot to last steps. Now we're gonna do more case normal. All right, and boom, and then this is what we did. Freestyle script. We're doing font. We're going go to all that stuff. All right. Well, a quick helpful uh, hint: search for other font names on your computer's uh, word processing software and change what like your text looks like. So if you want to change like the color, be sure to like change your turtle object's color first before using the right function. So we're gonna choose, so before that, yeah, we're gonna have to change the color. We'll just do we'll do T dot color and then we'll do green. And then, okay, so now we add in the shape because it can't, it's not a turtle without the shape. So, T dot shape, and then we're going to do a uh, turtle. All righty. Spacing it out a little bit so we keep everything. All right, screen. And this turtle, actually, this comes before that. It doesn't matter now. Yeah, fine. Alright, gotta get rid of that. Alright, now let's see our program come to life. Turtle power, let's go! Let's go, man. Alright, so, oh, well, we didn't really have to put the whole little turtle but you know it's kind of cute because it says turtle power wow so it's really nice look i actually did not know it would be like that freestyle wow that's actually nice turtle power and it's pretty big too because we added uh we added a lot of uh, 50 so if we added also remember the commas because they're important so let's say we added like 10 watch what would happen probably it would be really small yeah <laughs> even a turtle's bigger than that so we always had to make like everything a little bit better or a little bit more higher. So sixty, perfect. All right, and let's say we don't add the color. Let's say we don't do the shape. Cause I mean it is cute because you have a turtle there, but I wonder what happens. Let me do a little experiment. What happens if we don't add the green color? Well, I guess it would just be. That would be a uh, black. But it's always good to, uh, let's say you want different colors. It's always good to do it before everything. So once you put in the turtle, you're importing it, you're going to do the shape, and then you're going well, to you're gonna do uh, the shape first, and then second, the, you're going to do the color. Uh, yeah, shape and then color. So uh, actually, let's bring that back. Why not? Actually, didn't I save it? Didn't I copy it? Yeah, color. There we go. Saves me a lot. And then we're going to do T dot, uh, what was it? Shape. Shape size. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Shape. We're just sticking to shape. And then we're going to do turn all. Turn all. Yay! Shape. Now, I've read a lot, and you could use shape with tur uh, panda, but that is not really likely unless you have that on your computer installed. So it's really unlikely that you could get a, a panda, uh, but instead of doing import turtle, it would be panda. But you cannot import anything else except, like, turtle, unless you have the panda program it's like this kind of uh, it's a, this little interesting thing but you really like it it's not really likely so we're just sticking to turtle all right so we gave it a shape we're giving it green it could be anything it could be green yellow blue but i'm gonna do purple yay wait does it have to be no, i don't think it has to be can it be cap yeah, yeah it could be cap anything Turtle power. Perfect. And you could just do this many times. It could be purple. It could be anything. We'll do orange. Why not? Why not? Orange. Oops. What? No. 
actually wait I haven't tried this before what if we do white oh it get oh well obviously it blends in with everything so so we do oh what's another color what if we do I think we could do dark blue. Let's try that. Oh, yay! We did dark blue! Okay, perfect. Ah, it's perfect. Now, if you just do get the dark out, it would just be uh, regular blue, but we did dark. Now, I don't know if you could do dark purple. Could you? I'm just doing a little experiment here. I don't know if you could. I highly doubt. Yeah, you don't. You can't do dark purple. I think it's only dark blue. So, we'll just stick to dark blue, because... Maybe... Dark green. What about dark green? I think there's... there. I think dark green could be an option. Yeah, dark green. Wait. Is that any darker than a regular green? What's the difference between that and that? Huh, it's like the same thing. Alright. I was just messing around there. All right, so, okay, but I didn't explain about what does this mean and what does this mean. Because, like, go to, what is that? And, well, let's start with the t.pen up. And this, what it does is, like, it tells Python, not Python, it tells, like, the turtle module to, like, lift its pen so it doesn't draw a line when it moves. So it's, like, flying over the canvas instead of scribbling on it. And then the t.go to, this whole thing right here, which I already have, uh... What is it? Underlined? What? Marked? I guess we could say marked. It, this moves like the... It like basically moves the turtle to a new spot on the screen. So like the numbers are like a map. So negative 100. It's kind of like doing that. X 100. It's kind of like that. But uh, like X, Y, stuff like that. So it's basically... It's like a... Like the numbers are like a map. So first, which is the first number, which was this right here. Uh, it, it mean the first number means go left, and the second one means go up. So if that was the case, then we would do fifty. Let's see what goes. So hold on. Now let's see if I go one. And that becomes five hundred. I should say. No, let's. What should we do? 200 will do. Watch. See, now it's more to the left. Uh, and because that basically means to the left. And this is more to. So let's say we had him up to 300. It would be more up. Watch. So he's up way high. You don't even see the text. He goes all the way up there because. Let me see it. Oh, now we see it. Perfect. It's on top of the screen. It's kind of like a title. And then, turtle power. Number one, why is he turtle? Why does he have power? Two, 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 stuff like that. It's like a little list. All right. All right. So, so since we got that down, we got that covered of what this means and go to. Uh, it basically means to go left. Remember, negative means go left. And this go means go up. Just change it a bit. Let me just put it back to what it originally was, which was 100 and 100, which was in the middle. All right. So let's say we don't want it freestyle. You know, I don't really think I want freestyle. Let's say we want. What's another one that we could do? I could have sworn. Oh, Comic Sans. We could do that. I think so. Comic Sans. Um, Ass, I think. All right, now let's try. Yeah, there we go. Works. Comic Sans. Now it's really big. Power. So you could do anything. Uh, uh, you could just you could do any text or any like font thing, but you gotta check on your computer software and stuff like that before you can do it, or just uh type in it on the web like what which ones I could do for my Python program to make it, like, different kind of 
fonts. Also, I think let's do back to the freestyle. Uh, yeah, freestyle, and then we're gonna do script. Wait, did I spell that right? Script. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to sound it out. And let's see. I wonder if having it close has an impact. Let's see. No, it doesn't. Okay. So, but it's always like good to organize it out and space it because I thought that having it a little close was the problem, but no, it is not. Well, there was no problem, but I wasn't sure if it would be an error. All right, so since we covered all this of how you can do freestyle, comic sans, and maybe other kind of ones that you may know, uh. What's another one? Just many other ones that I think are compatible. Compatible. Uh, always write them out, and it does. So let's say you do. You can even write your name. My name is Mara. So Mara. Let's fill it up. Let's fill it up, guys. All right, all right. Oh, my days. Yeah, it fills all the way over there. Boom. That's kind of cool. It writes it all. That is very interesting. Okay, so. Let's get rid of that. It's annoying. And there we have it. My, my name is... I forgot the R, but... Uh, did I even put an R? I think I put an R. Alright, uh, Mao is my name. And we just did it. Alrighty. Okay, so next... We are moving on to the next one, which is the stamp project. I'm going to call it stamp project because we're going to do a uh, stamp. Also, I've always been taught to add two of these because if you don't, watch, it was never closed. So, if you add it, watch, because you're kind of closing, in, closing it in there and you're closing it out, so... Now it does. <sighs> okay, excuse me. Okay. So, we got that down. Very, very fun. Made it look very cool. Alright, so you can make anything. You can write anything. We got that covered. Alright, well, that's it for today's uh, second lesson of the turtle module. And awesome job today. We've learned how to uh, do your first, like, writing on the screen using the turtle module instead of doing shapes so great job today and i'll see you in the next lesson uh take care guys